and welcome to Back of the Net. My name's Sam Davis. My name's Tom Jordan. And look, we're at the pair at Parley. It is beautiful out here, mate. What a sunny day. What a week of weather that we're having, mate. It's gorgeous. Yeah, lovely, mate. It's the only good thing about pre-season is you normally get the weather, so we can just sit down and enjoy in the beer garden. So yeah, all good. Tom, it's time yeah. for a tier list. Do you like a tier list? We love a tier list. We, do you love a tier list? We all love tier lists. We love a tier list. And this one's quite Premier League driven because we are Premier League. Yeah. Hence the bit of referee top, mate. Just to officiate the comments, you mate, know what I mean? Because we're going to have some big boys in them comments. Hang on a second, what does that say? That's... Oh, I haven't got a clue. Uh, Durham CFA, so like it's, it. You know Ash. Yeah. So it was actually a prize. We do like predictions at the start of the season, envelope them all up, see who the winner is. And I actually won. And um, this was top prize. And it might sound like a bad top prize, but last season, yeah. top prize got a side foot of Ainsley Harrier. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm taking this, mate. And I'm, I'm all, I quite like it. Nice little fit. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all right for a bit summery. But yeah, I, I need it because we might have to officiate some comments, mate, because some big big boys in there. Yeah, big so boys in this tier list. I'm loving this. He's got a Velcro. Oh, uh, if you were a ref, right, you know you yeah. sometimes they keep their cards separate. Like yep. they put red in one pocket. Would you put like the red in that one and the yellow in your back pocket or the other way around? Where, I think, where would you I think I'll go for I'd like the red in the back. Oh then, what? So yeah, you can be just whip it out. Yellow's, you know, because I like keep my cards close to my chest. That's a good little pun, isn't it? Yeah, I'll have the yellows in the front, I think, mate. Um but yeah, I think I'd I'd like to whip out the red. Bit of authority, Mike Dean. Bit of authority. So this video is all about Premier League managers and look. We're going to be seeing a lot of them on screen over the next year or so, whether it be on Match of the Day, on Sky Sports, on BT, on Amazon, little clipped up bits on, on social media. And look, in our tier list, we could rate them. But if we're going to rate managers, we're basically printing out the lead table, aren't we, really? Best managers, cool. really, are at the, well, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. better club. So what should we do instead? Well, I thought, mate, likability. Like that. I, let, okay. Which managers would we like to go out for a pint with? <laughs> I, we do I like that? it. I like it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so th this is what we're going to do. And look, there are 20 managers in the Premier League, of which we have one. And we've got a tier list. Some, some managers, when you watch their interviews, they seem to be nice guys. Others seem to be a bit boring. Others seem to be a bit whingy at times. Others seem like total lads. Uh, and as such, We've got five categories here, Tom. Five tiers. Yep. Talk us through them. You can see it on the screen now. Right at the top is yes, proper sesh. I would go out on the beers with them all night long. De a proper session. You know, I'm talking all day, all night in the beer gardens. That's number one. Number two, a few cheekies. Would yeah, definitely man. go out for a few beers with them. Have a good little natter. Yeah. In the middle, lager shandy. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'll have a drink. I'll have a drink with them, but let's calm down. Let's not go for a sesh. Just below that, we've got meh, lime yeah. soda at best. Yeah. I'll go with them, but I think, keep my wits about me. Here. I'll have a lime soda mm. and then I'll, I'll make a move. And at the bottom, I'm staying in. I ain't even going out. Mm. I'm not even getting out of my door because they're not worth it. Right, so we're going to do it in order. And this is, this, is, this is what grates on me, right? So on the Premier League website, you've got a list of managers, 2022-23. Let's see it on screen now. And what they've done is they've ordered it by the name of the club. So... They've put Scott Parker, Bournemouth first. Yeah, on the league table I saw them put online the other day. Bournemouth were third under Arsenal and Aston Villa. They seem to make it up as they go along. Surely yeah. we should be top of the league already, right? Can't seem to make their mind up, mate. Um, but, you know, if you're from it now, I, I would take third. Mm. I would take third. Just. <laughs> Just. So, look, we're going to do it in order uh, of the club name. Therefore, we're starting with... Scott Parker. We're going to keep it relatively short. Look, yep. this is all tongue in cheek. Uh, but. Where, Scotty P. Yeah, Scotty P. Where do you think, mate? I'll tell you what helped him was that little, you know, the changing room thing. Yeah, stuff like that was that. good, and, wasn't it? And uh, I'd like to get him out of his shell a little bit more as well. I think he, he's definitely got a bit about him, but I think he, you know, probably. Yeah, he's quite well, quite good with the media. He doesn't let too much off. But I reckon if you, if you went. Got an Amstel in. I reckon he'd be all right. I think he'll, he'll natter to you. So, do you he, think after a while he'd go a bit Mike Skinner streets on you and start rapping oh yeah, again? Like, that'd be quite good. End up but... in O'Neill's. O'Neill's still there. Yeah, Karaoke yeah. bar. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go. I don't know if you've got. I'm going to go a few cheekies with Scotty. Yeah, I like. Yeah. And obviously, there, uh, there is a bias there because of Bournemouth. If he oh, was absolutely. manager of an, another club, manager maybe. of Fulham, I ain't going out. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like, simple as so, that. So, yeah, let's. A few cheekies for Scotty P. Yeah, let's yeah. whack him in a few cheekies there. Right, next then, Arsenal. Mikel Arteta. And I quite like Mikel Arteta. Um, I think the fact that he's worked under 
under Guardiola and yeah. he's, he's done bits. He's been around the game for a while. He's he's, he's quite likeable, but then he's sometimes, I think he's, he's similar to Scott Peay. He doesn't let it all out sometimes. Do you think he's one Good of these, like, guy, though. philosophical, like, red yeah. wine over a table, talking deep and meaningfuls, and when sometimes you just want to get on it and sing. He wouldn't let me get him a cow to Carlsberg, would he? No. He wouldn't let me get him a cow to Carlsberg. Having said that, I'm a single heterosexual male. Oh, yeah. He'd get some eyes on him. Really. He'd get <laughs> yeah, some eyes yeah. on our table. So he'd be a great wig man for you. Yeah, him. no, he's a he's a good looking guy. I, yeah, I'm I'm intrigued by Mikel Arteta. Similar, actually, weirdly, with Scott Parker. I, I reckon he could bring him out a little bit more. So I'm gonna go a few cheekies. A few cheekies. Yeah, a few cheekies. Love but, it. but as you say, it wouldn't surprise me if he wanted to get on their old wine. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. Mikel Arteta is going in to a few cheekies. There he is. Beautiful man, right there next. Steve Gerrard, Gerrard, yeah. and look, I know that you're not really fond of Liverpool. Oh, I can't, but don't you let can't. them in the comments get me, Jesus. But, you know, he's not Liverpool, he's Villa. He, well, yes, he's Villa now, but he did his utmost to win the title for Liverpool. That didn't work. Or we'll lose it for him twice. Yeah. Um, no, Gerrard's, yeah, Gerrard's, I mean, listen, he's one of the best England probably arguably the best English centre midfielder, one of the best in my era, definitely. Did you see that thing he did with Gary Level? On really the good. Um, really just good. Like, well, like walking about, he said he likes a cheeky Italian. Yeah, and I decided on that, actually, that me and him would get on. Yeah. Because they went, favourite drink, he said lager. Yeah. Favourite food, he said pizza. Favourite yeah. band, he said Coldplay. That's the same for me. So I think we'd get on. Um, and I think, you know, he's had some nights out in Liverpool. Yeah. Oh, I'd have a sesh with him. Really? Yeah, proper sesh with Stevie G. 100%, mate. <laughs> and if it gets a bit Larry, he'd back my corner, 100%. Yeah, I'm going for that with Jez. Oh, I love it. Right, next then. Uh, we've. I don't think we've got too much time for this, have we? Uh, Thomas Frank. We have to call it off now. That's, that's it for the video. Yeah, yes, yes. Time up. Time up. Oh, Thomas Frank. Oh, he's an irritating little... He is, isn't he? he he's is go brief, briefly go to the football, what a job he did. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not saying that, done an unbelievable job at Brentford, so nothing to do with, as we've said at the start, any sort of manager ability, because I think he's done unbelievable, actually. Do you think he's a bit whiny sometimes? Just a little bit. Well, like, we can only really take him on the on the times where we've played him. I mean, you, yeah, and little you, clips you might that. have seen press clippings outside yeah. of that, but I have I just remember that moment in the playoff final where we were one up, Dan Juma scored, but then any time the brief hold-up yeah, well, it's just a bit. Oh, he's just a bit irritating, yeah. isn't he? Like, there's nothing. As I say, I think he's a good football manager, but there's just yeah. nothing about him that I that I really like. I think he's a bit irritating. And if I saw him here now, I wouldn't even go over to him. I think he's a bit of a knobhead. Really? Yeah, I'm staying in. You're staying in. Staying in, mate. I'll have a cup of tea. I ain't going out. Of wow. It. For Thomas Frank, you are staying in, mate. I'm I'm surprised at that. No. I'm surprised. I ain't going out of him. Graham Potter from Brighton. Ooh, it's quite. I think he comes across quite well, actually, Graham Potter. He seems a nice yeah. guy. I think what's helping him is that he's young and English and it's the yeah. football style's good and stuff. But if we're trying to take the football out of it... I'm not sure I'd want a few cheekies with him, though. I think. He's, saying, yeah, I don't... I, I don't know, know, as a character, he's a bit nonplussed, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's the type of person... Like, he doesn't seem to get excited that much. No. He's, he, you know, like Level Dave, headed. Yeah, like, you know, like Dave Chisnell in the darts? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes he can win, like... Uh, you know, some like PDC major or whatever, and then in the interviews, it's like, Look, you've just won £100,000. How do you feel? It's like, Yeah, I'm alright. See, is that a bit Eddie Owish as well, a little bit? Obviously, we've come on to him. Yeah. It, it reminds me a little bit, he just keeps his philosophy, he keeps playing the way he's playing, but don't make sure he keeps his feet on the ground, don't get over the top. So, I think that's good from a football manager's perspective, but we're not talking about that. We don't yeah. care about that. We're discussing whether we'd go out. Of no, I think you're right, actually. I think a uh, like Lager Shandy. Lager Shandy. Yeah, I'll have a Lager Shandy with him. Yeah. Have a little bit of a natter and then go, oh, I'm bored now, I'm going to go home. It's nearly midnight, I need to play Wordle. Yeah. I'm off, mate. I'm off. Yeah. Love it. So Good manager. Gonna, Good yeah, manager. an absolutely superb manager. And we're going to put him in Lager Shandy. Who right. Next? C, Chelsea. Thomas Tuchel. Oh, okay. He's German, isn't he? Yeah. You know, likes a beer. Yeah. Likes a Stein. A bit weird though, isn't he? I don't know he why I think that. He's a bit weird though, isn't he? He's, he's not your Jurgen Klopp sort of German. Yeah. He's a different type. I think he's a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awful. Oh, he's a bloody good football manager, Jesus. But I don't really know what to make of him, to be honest. I think, to be fair, with things that have gone on at Chelsea, I think he's always conducted himself quite well, actually. <laughs> but he's a weirdo. <laughs> I'm just thinking, what, what kind of video are we doing here? <laughs> 
I'll tell you what video we'll do. I'll go for a lime soda with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I don't... Nah, I'm not a fan, mate. Yeah, um... I'll um, have a lime soda and then I'll get myself out of there, I think. Um, yeah. But yeah, he's he just seems a bit... Like I say, maybe he hasn't been there that long. He may be... Yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> lime soda. For, and you know what? I completely I reckon agree. he'd have a lime soda as well. Yeah. He's a bit weird, isn't he? <laughs> I reckon he'd have a blackcurrant soda, actually. He'll mix it up. He'll think he's, like, really out there. Like, I'll get a lime soda. He'll go, I'll have a blackcurrant. He'll grow up. He'll we go up. in um, alphabetical order on clubs, mate. So, who's after Chelsea? C. Is there an C? Yeah. Oh, Chris Palace. Vieira. Oh, what a legend. He's a ledge, though, isn't he? He's... You know what? And one thing with him... Look, I know that we've... Um, we have covered some managers already that have had football careers that have been, you know, reasonably good, a.k.a. Steven Gerrard, etc. Yeah. But, you know, you've got a different dimension. You've got so many stories that could come out with him. And I know True. he's French, he'll probably have his red wine over mm. his lager, but I can imagine it'd be a cracking... Yeah. Crack. But then I've seen him on the, um, like, when he's been a pundit for ITV in the World Cup before, and he's been very understated, he's yeah. been calm. But I, I reckon after a few beers, you could have a right old time. Yeah, and I just feel like he's sort of type of character that I'll go, I'll have a San Miguel, and he'll go, oh no, there's this new lager. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh. And it, I can, it'll bring me out, do you know what I mean? And he'll get me a few different drinks. and. Yeah, like you said, mate, uh, similarly with, with, with Gerard in particular, there's, there's going to be some stories there. And like you say, that French thing as well. I think be, I'd like to know about Bobby Pires, Thierry Henry. Yeah. And some, so yeah, I would definitely have a few of him. But Gerard's a bit more of a sesh character. So I'm going to put him in a few cheekies. Je voudrais une Cronenberg 664. That's 1664, mate. I thought you just said, can I have a Cronenberg? <laughs> Something like that. I'm so, going to go a few cheekies with Patty V. Few cheekies with Patty V. Abs. That's how I know him, yeah. Yeah, abs. but no, I like him. I like him. Yeah, absolutely love it. All right, a few cheekies with uh, Patty V then. Uh, right, okay. Next on our list, we've got Everton. We've got Frank Lampard, mate. Mm. Mm. Not sure on Frank actually. No, so, nor am I. You said nor about um, Gerard being on the overlap. I watched the Lampard one as well. I've done a few did with Gary Neville, and he come across quite well. Mm. And I thought, oh, he's come across better than I'm not convinced on him managerially yet. But in terms of his character, I think he's. He seems like a decent guy. I, th- I think there's there's a side to him. Do you reckon? Yeah, there's a I mean, you saw that with um, that little... Uh, do you remember in COVID with mm. like Jurgen Klopp? Oh, and then yeah. he turns on Jurgen saying, you know, like, you've only won the Premier League once yeah, yeah. or whatever. So. Yeah, yeah, and there was that bit with Bielsa when he was at Derby. So it doesn't take any shit. And I, I fear that you could maybe say the wrong thing and then face his wrath. Yeah, no, for, that's not my uh, for quite For quite a long time, you know, you like, have to stay on his good side. I don't know. I think Could he's, be. yeah, I, there's a part of me that thinks, that like, I agree with you, and there's another part of me that thinks, is he a bit dull? But then I think, yeah. I'd like to chat to him about the Red Naps, got that Red Nap connection, yeah, course, you know, yeah, yeah. Down. So there'll be a little bit of connection with Bournemouth, yeah. which we'll be able to have a discussion about. But I'm not that bothered, so I'm no. going to go, I think he's with Potter. Yeah. I'll have a lager shandy with him, mate. Yeah. And I feel like he's the type of character that would get... He's one of them that go to a bar and go, I'll have a top. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Jesus. Next. But yeah, I'll have a lager shandy with him. Next, then, Fulham. Marco Silva. And you, you've got footballing decisions, but I've got a feeling that your footballing reasons might sort of translate into non-football reasons. Whatever I'm thinking, my head's going, wind the full of fans up, wind the full of fans up, wind the full of fans up, because <laughs> they love it. Um, they'll all be watching going, oh, they're going to put us in the bottom. He seems all right. Yeah. Um, he's, he's been in Greece. I quite like Mythos. Yeah, yeah, Mythos. Mythos, yeah. Yeah, I love, yeah, yeah, nice yeah, little, I love nice Mythos. So I'll yeah. chat to him about that for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Then I get a bit bored of him, I think. And then I go, oh, how was Hull? Oh. Yeah. Um, he's, but he seems all right. Lager Shandy. Yeah, I think yeah, Mark Shandy for him. Yeah. Is that all right, Fulham? Is that all right? God, Mitch right. Rich, one player of the season. Yeah, yeah well, right. well done. Uh, right, uh, Jesse Marsh from Leeds, mate. I mean, look, we're, we are football fans, and I would... Oh, I find it difficult listening to <laughs> some Americans, because there are some that use the terms that penalty kicks are PKs. I like that, though. I, I will never... We've got a few American fans, haven't we, that yeah, watch the channel that, yeah. are, that are great. I can't get used to calling them PKs, and yeah. this is nothing, you know, Patrick, Devitt, etc. all the Americans that are watching, um, nothing against... But it's the, the way your media have decided to call it, like, I, I find it really hard, like, calling the attack, you know, the offence. Yeah, it just finds it harder to, like, connect to him. You feel like you wouldn't be able to have a good chat with yeah. him, because it would be all a bit... Yeah, it's weird. I think he's, to be fair, he... Uh, from a footballing perspective, he done okay and nearly went. But you know, it'll be interesting to see how he does as a manager. But and he comes across all right. 
Um, but, uh, I mean, what's he going to do? Try and invite me to a frat party? I, I can't be asked. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. What? Would I have a, I'd have a lime soda with him. Yeah. And I think he'd have that too, because if he had one, if he had a star of prime and it'd blow his head off. Yeah, yeah, he probably so, would. Yeah, I'll have, a, I'll have a lime soda with him, mate. But, um, yeah, so he hadn't been there long, to be fair. Brendan Rogers for Leicester. Brendan Rogers. Yeah. Like Northern Irish. I, yeah. I expect he'd have a few beers. Chat to him about one Feeney. Yeah, 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 and also he's got a close connection with Eddie Howe. True. Eddie Howe used to watch his training sessions at Swansea. And yeah, we're keeping it away from football, but I, I think he's, because he's gone that similar path to Eddie, I'd like to talk to him a little bit about yeah. that. Yeah, do you think he'd be quite, because I've seen him let his guard down a couple of times, and he seems to actually be all right. Yeah, he seems okay. I think I think he's a little bit overhyped at times as a manager, but I, I do, like, I think he's okay. Um, some. Yeah, sometimes he gets on my wick, but I think most of the time I get what he's doing. And yeah, he's, he seems like an all right bloke. Again, yeah, Lager Shandy. Yeah, Lager yeah, Shandy. I'd, yeah, I'll be happy to have a Shandy with him, but yeah. um, but nothing more, nothing more. There we go, Brendan Rogers goes into Lager Shandy. Right, next then, Jurgen Klopp for Liverpool. Undisputed in terms of his managerial excellence. And you know what, sometimes... He's, he's one of these hit or miss figures because sometimes he seems to have a whale of a time with the Liverpool f fans. He really integrates them with them so well. He's in the pubs with them, singing the songs. But then sometimes on interviews, he comes across as a right moany bastard. Doesn't yeah. He? A little bit too much. I counteract it with, I'd probably say he's the best manager around. Yeah. I, I genuinely think he's one of the best managers about at the yeah. moment, if not the best. But he's a knobhead. He winds me up, mate. It's just, it's, it's the little things, isn't it? And I get why he's doing it, and you've, you've got to play the game a little bit. Why is he a knobhead? Liverpool have a game an hour before Man City. It's all, oh, we haven't had the recovery time, and spend nearly 100 million on Nunes, but yeah. apparently they don't spend any money, and we're still spending the Coutinho money that they got about 10 years ago. <laughs> it's so everything's worlds against us. Look, mate, you've won one league title. Calm down. <laughs> but no, he's, he's an unbelievable manager. I just find him a little bit irritating. But in terms of this, would I, as much as I find him annoying, would I turn down the chance of having a beer with him? Probably not, actually. So what are you saying? Because I'd like to know, because as you said, there's times where I think, oh, has he got a bit of charisma there? Yeah, and yeah. Then, then I just, then something happens and I think, oh, knob. <laughs> but I'd like to give him that opportunity. So I think, and I feel like he'd like his beer. And I'd, Yeah, you're going a few cheekies, aren't you? I am. Even though I'm not a massive fan, I'd still have a few cheekies with him. 100%. So, yeah, I'm very like that with, with, with Jürgen, but I can totally appreciate it. If you're a Liverpool fan, you must adore the guy, yeah, and yeah. I get that. And if, and if he looks like he's going to give us Nat Phillips, so that would yeah. be a little tick for him. And sometimes you feel as though when managers make these little kind of off-the-cuff comments that are implicitly slagging off the Premier League or whoever's all the fixtures. Yeah, it's just mind games. And they're th sort of thinking in the back of their heads, oh, maybe we shouldn't maybe do that for them next and time. Maybe. if you're at the top, Ferg used to do it, Wenger used to do it. Yeah, you, you've yeah. got to do it. So I'm not saying that Klopp's you know, just being an idiot for the sake of it. I get what he's doing. Yeah. Just sometimes he, he annoys me a little bit. But yeah, I definitely have a few of him, mate. Pep Guardiola. I like him. Yeah. It's just everything about him. He's just, I mean, obviously football terms, he's ridiculous. So sometimes he's, he's really calm and philosophical and sometimes he's bouncing around all yeah, the time. Yeah. Like, like... I just think he's, he doesn't really care what people will fit in the terms of, I always remember, do you remember when they had Bravo and Goal was yeah, useless? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had like the worst game of his life and he came out after the game and went, he was brilliant. Yeah. And I think he just, he just doesn't care. He thinks he's my player, I'll back him. Yeah. I just quite like him. He's, he's quite sexy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Oh God, yeah. He's quite sexy. Sexy man. And I just think, and he's been at Barcelona. Yeah. You know, he's going to, I'm um, Brandon who went off then. <laughs> um, I love Guardiola and I'd love to go on a session with him. Yeah. Great, yeah, there we I'd go. Love, I'd love to go on a session with him. Yeah, I, I love Guardiola. Yeah, I'm going top top for him. So, we that well, that's Man City. So, a bit of an unknown quantity, mm. I suppose, in Eric Ten Hag. Ten Hag. I've only, like, as, as we say, it's he's new. Have you seen what the Ajax fans say about him? He's, he, he's, he's very much a sort of disciplinarian. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. And he's not going to be ones that are going to let players, like your Pogba's or whatever, although he's you know, not going to be there anymore, yeah. um, you know, kind of rule the roost. I, I've seen a few interviews ago, I think, he's an odd boy, isn't he? It's just a bit strange. Mm. But then I'm intrigued, do you know what I mean? I think because he's new and stuff and what he's done at Ajax. And listen, there's, there's one hand of thought of going, yeah, well, anyone can win the league at Ajax. But I think he's brought players through. I think it'd be interesting to see how he does. But I think because he's new, oh, I'm not sure. I'll have a lime soda. Yeah. I'll have a lime soda. I'm not going to go, I'm staying in yet because I'm, there's a bit of intrigue there. But yeah, early thoughts, I think I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it'll work. Who are we doing? Who are we doing? 
Um, oh, I know it is. <laughs> oh, give me a sash with Eddie Howe now. But you know what? No, this is no, but this is because we love him. Yes, it is. Get over it. <laughs> I'm not going. Oh, because we love him. I'll pretend I'm a neutral. I'm not a neutral. Do you I love have, him? Do you do you genuinely think that he ever has more than two pints? <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't think he's had a pint. I mean, he'd probably have a latte, but I'll go. I respect that, Eddie. If anyone of the others did, I'll go grow up. But it's Eddie Howe. No, we have to be biased on this one, mate. I can't not. I can't not. Is he? I, I think who did I speak about? Similar to like a Potter, uh, like kind of keeps his cards close to his chest. Is very understated at times. Has his philosophy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but I mean, he's a god. We're Bournemouth, mate. He's a god. And I'm getting. You tell me, Eddie. Eddie Al wants to um, go for a session with you. Am I going to go now? Nah, just have a lime soda. I'm getting on it. All right, all right. I don't care. All right. Let them all say bias. Yes, I am biased. What do you want me to be? It's Eddie Al. Marvin, mate. Don't Pro- try and don't even try it. Right. So look, and I'm going to try and get so pissed that he has to let me sleep on his couch. <laughs> so I stay yeah. at his, and sing our heart to him all yeah, night. All night. Um, Take me. me. Uh, look, that? I've got, I need to just say a few things, right? Oh God. Maybe. So when you go on the Premier League website, <sighs> you can click on each each manager's profile, and like there are some established Premier League managers that have got a profile there, and. What we've done is we've picked ones with transparent backgrounds. So what you do, right? Like if you can't find the manager's photo on the Premier League website, like there are three managers we couldn't find. Jesse was, Marsh. Yeah, Jesse Marsh. Uh, Ten Hag. Ten Hag. Yeah, who we've done. And also the following manager, Steve Cooper, because obviously he's not been in the Premier League before. So I went onto Google Images and what I do, I go to Google Images, I type in the name. I, first I typed in Forest, and I thought, oh no, like maybe manager, because it might be a Swansea photo that's half decent. The photos um, don't do well. And do then they? I go to tools and on the drop down list, transparent background, right? So we've got some uniformity in our look, right? This was the only one that we could find. <laughs> and I really apologise because his head looks absolutely <laughs> massive. To be fair, what he's done at Forest, I know we're not trying to go too much into football, but what he's done at Forest, you see Swansea since he's gone. He's clearly, and I'd like to know a little bit more. There's a bit of, again, there's a bit of intrigue there with Cooper. I think he could be a laugh. Do you reckon? Not, not like a. Look, one thing I really like is his man management and the way mm. that he's brought everyone together. He's obviously a caring man. And he he's the sort of person, if you if you sort of, um, you know, couldn't afford a pint or whatever, you know, hopefully we could. But if we, it. he would get him in. I uh, think he'd get him in. He'd be like, yeah, you know, like, if you want me to buy the drinks this evening, that's fine. Forest manager as well, isn't he? Yeah. I reckon he, I reckon he knows the staff of Hooters. Yeah, yeah, I reckon probably, he's getting me in there, VIP yeah, in a Canal booth. house, whatever. But um, no, I agree. He seems, he seems all right, doesn't he? He comes across well. Um, I... Th- a few cheekies, few yeah. Cheekies. Yeah, I'd have a few cheekies with Steve Cooper. Yeah, 100%. Sorry, Steve. Look, look I mean, what... It's an awful photo, isn't it? Yeah, I, you know what? He's that's, that's not the best picture of him, but alas, you can't do much Maybe about that. Right, four managers to go. Next one is Ralph Harsenhutl. Trying to forget Saint, and, You know, he is Southampton. Austrian. You know, will like a beer. Um, but in terms of his likability, you know, we got to remember, you know, like what's underpinning this, right? I know that we're talking about having a pint or whatever. It's not, it's not in terms of the alcohol. It's in terms yeah. of the likability of the it's a guy. chat. You can go for a coffee with them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It can be a coffee or whatever. But there are some managers that, you know, we just can't abide by, and others that are hit and miss. And this one, on the pitch, he seemed to be hit and miss. He, he's one of these managers that, like every season. He has a run of really good results. Yeah. He has a run of really bad results. And at some point, Southampton fans are always questioning whether he'll be there next season. But then he seems to like, pull it out of the bag a little bit. Yeah, I think from a footballing perspective, to come out of two 9 nil hammerings that he's mm. had and still be within a job and, and they quite like yeah. him, I think says a lot about him. And I think he's he's certainly got a bit about him. I don't think, I think if you look at their squad, you think he's done. he's got the best out of them. He gave us Shane Long, so I'm not happy with him for that. Do you like him though? You, he's got a likability. The, pro- the problem we've got here is we're Bournemouth fans. And I can't like him because he's our the manager. But, I'm, you know, but like, I know even it, if there wasn't that, I'm, I'm not I'm yeah. not fast. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. I'm a little bit. But would I be that keen to have a drink with him? Probably not. But he seems all right. I think it's got to be a lime soda for, for yeah. Ralph. I don't want to be too harsh because he's, as you say, it's just the Southampton link. I don't think he's, he's that um, dislikable. No. He's, he's all right. He's all right. Right, next, Antonio Conte for Spurs. Yeah. He's, I'm not, a, I don't like Tottenham. I've never liked Tottenham. You know that I've got a soft spot for Arsenal, always have done. Um, so I can't really like Tottenham, but I love Conte. 
Do you? I love Conte. Do you? I think from a from a footballing point of view, I think he goes in. He's very short term. I don't think he's been anywhere over two years. He just no, goes in and then he it does a job and then just moves on. But I tell you what, look what he's done. As soon as he went in at Tottenham, just yeah. everything changes. I think he's I think he's elite in terms of a manager, and I just like him. Yeah. I just think he's uh, yeah he's Italian. He's Heart got a bit on of class. your sleeve kind yeah. of guy. He's on the touchline, he's given it a bit of that, but he's also tactically very astute. He celebrates goals like he scored them himself. Yeah, yeah, and I, I just really, really like him. I think he's a really good character, and I'd like to see him on the beers, mate. I'm having a sesh with him. <laughs> oh, I'm having a sesh with Conte, 100%. I'll tell you what, them four in that proper sesh category at the moment, imagine a night out with them four. What a crazy. I might get, I'll tell you what, I might speak to the pair, get a pod in with them four. Why not? I reckon they'd all be up for it. I reckon Eddie would go, he's Bournemouth, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. Guardiola would go, yeah, I'll have a, have a beer. Jez would be, they'd all be up for it. I'm, I'm on this. This could happen, you know. Coming soon. David Moyes for West Ham. <laughs> he's a bit door, isn't he? Or dour. Door, but... Such, I mean, what he's done at West Ham has been a joke. And, Outrageous. You know, like, arguably, had he been given more time at Man United, yeah. he was, you know. But he's boring, isn't he? You know, tell me that any of the managers post David Moyes yeah. were actually as successful as him, or if not better. I've I said, mate, if he never got the job, he'd have been linked with it now. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. If he had just gone to West Ham and done what he's done, I think he would have been linked with the job, which is which is ironic, but it's a bit boring, isn't he? He's got an understated sense of humour that I... Yeah, a bit like Andy Murray, and I don't want to put them in the same bracket. I don't mind that. But some, he's a bit dry, and I've oh, got a feeling a that... Um, I've got a feeling that... You know, David Moyes is probably as dry, if not drier. Yeah, okay. I'll tell you what I'd do. I'm thinking about this in my head. I'd go, I'd have a lager shandy. That's what I'm putting in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little bit higher than four because I thought, and I'll say to him, I'll go, so what are you doing uh, this winter when uh, Scotland didn't make it to the old... Uh, <laughs> I'd have a bit of banter, and I feel like he could take a bit of banter, as you say. Yeah. I do feel like... There's a, there's, again, there's a bit of intrigue there. I'm not sure about him. He comes across a bit dull, but I wonder if you have, have a little shandy with him, yeah. come out of the show a little bit, I think you'd be all right. So, yeah, I think mid, mid-range mid lager shandy. Finally, Bruno lager for, for lager. <laughs> it's got to be a Bruno lager. I'd have a Bruno lager with him. A Bruno large. Well, is it large? L- large or is it lager? I don't know, mate. I thought... I, don't know, I barely know anything about him. Mm. I mean, he's just so understated, isn't he? I don't really know. I think that's wolves in general. Like, they've just got... I think they were linked with a Portuguese player the other day. I think it was Vitinha or someone. And I thought, oh, I didn't know he was already there. <laughs> like, they've just got all the same player. I've seen some of his interviews and he doesn't... He doesn't seem to have much about him. No, I don't... Oh, that sounds really condescending, but... Yeah. Personality-wise, I, I just... He's very straight-laced. Seems and all I, right. You know, he, he's one of these people that you, you'd meet him and... You would be like, oh, you know, throw me a bone, you know, give me something to talk about, and you'd just do you like talk about something like really basic, like the weather yeah. and stuff, and you'd be like, oh, give me something. And then, like next time you sort of have your chance to go out for a drink with him, you think, I'm, I'll be thinking, oh, I fancy staying in. I know what you mean. Yeah, it comes across a little bit of an anorak. <laughs> yeah. In some ways, um, but I don't know him well enough to, so I'd still go. You know what? I'll meet him for a lime soda. For a lime soda. I think that's fair. I think that's a. Uh, I think that's fair. I think I want to do a little counterpoint with the teams that have gone down, right? Burnley originally was Sean Dyche. We're having a sesh with that man. <laughs> I'm just saying yeah. that now. Roy Hodgson. I want to see how much he can take. So I'm going to sesh with him. And Dean Smith. I'm staying in. Yeah, yeah. I just just to pull up put that out there. But yeah, I think I feel for Frank because he's on his own. But yeah. I did kind of suspect he might be on his own because he's just a bit of a weirdo. You happy with that? Uh yeah. I think Would you I'm put okay. anyone with him? Maybe. Let us know in the comments, by the way, if there's any I think I've got really wrong. It's just... Um, Maybe Eric Ten Hag. Yeah. I, I think, unfortunately for Frank, we know a bit more about him. We don't know enough about Ten Hag, yeah, which yeah. is probably why he's gone up one. If we address this in a few months, he might be down there. But, um, yeah, I think Thomas Frank, I mean, he will be gutted that I went out of the bill with him. This is all about likability, yeah. yeah. Let, as Tom said, let tongue us know what you think. It, and it's tongue-in-cheek. You know? But, look... We, we can talk serious stuff as well, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're a Premier League fan. We, we, we can say that now. We can, even, we can even put the graphic at the bottom of the screen. Should we yeah. do it? Yeah. Oh, I was click late. I was clicked a bit late. Yeah. Up with Chess. Up with Chess. Oh, what did we just do? <laughs>